Hey guys, this is a video on the workouts I've been doing during quarantine. Specifically today, I've been working on plyometrics and focusing more on the jump techniques. My strength days are usually earlier in the week, so I'll also make a video on that. Given the situation with COVID, I thought it was a great idea to show what I've been doing the past three weeks. I know a lot of you guys need the gym, especially for equipment and for weightlifting. So hopefully you can add some of these workouts into your routine and maintain your vertical, if not improve it just a bit. All right, without further ado, let's get onto the workout. So before I start off my main plyo workout, I usually like to do some foam rolling. Um, start off on the glutes, then move on to the hips and also the thighs. This helps you remove the scar tissue that's been built up before. So a lot of the foam rolling exercises I do here is from Overtime Athletes channel. I'll put the link of the video down below uh, if you want to check that out. And right here, I'm trying to stretch my hip flexors and foam roll my inner thigh. This is the most helpful for me because my inner thigh is very tight and it's probably the weakest point of my uh, leg for sure. After that, I go into more of my dynamic stretches. I'm um, trying to stretch more of my hip flexors and get a bit more mobility back. Right here is also a good hip flexor stretch dynamic movement. Um, I'm trying to touch my toe as I lift them up so that my hamstring is also stretching too. I try to get at least 10 reps on each side. And right after, I try to activate my glutes by using the resistance band. The warmers are also in Overtime Athletes channel. I will put the link down below. But mainly, I try to get 10 reps on three of the directions for both sides. And yeah, that's it. With my first workout in a plyo day, I try to get squats in with uh, 20 pound dumbbells on each side. Um, I usually do three sets of 12, but because I only have 20 pounds, I try to increase the reps or possibly the sets. The important thing is to focus on your posture and your form, really focusing on that triple extension. I also added the resistance band between my knees to help strengthen it and help my knees to not cave in when I'm doing actual squats. And the second workout is actually more of a plyometric workout. I'm doing a seated box jump. The great thing about this workout is that it focuses on the concentric phase of a jump. By removing the eccentric phase, this allows you to focus on the power production of the jump. By not relying on the elastic energy, you're forced to use the power that only comes from your legs. Overall, this is a really great plyometric workout and I highly recommend you add this to your routine. And as for volume, I usually do three sets of five. And before my third workout, I try to get some calf raises in. This helps me activate my calves and get a good feel for what the activation should feel like. My next workout is a squat jump with uh, two dumbbells on each side, both being 10 pounds. And I do three sets of 10 of these. With low weights like these, I really try to focus on the reactivity of the jump. So as, I, as soon as I land, I try to jump as quickly as possible. My fourth workout is a depth jump, and this is probably the most important plyometric you should be doing. Um, this is important because it helps you focus on the reactivity, but also the way you can absorb your jumps. So this is good for your knees, this is good for your biomechanics. And for this workout, I usually do a three by three or three by five, depending on the day. The next workout I incorporated to my routine is the block jump. And I got this workout from Project Pure Athlete. 
I'll add the link to the video below. But the main reason why I added this to my uh, routine is that it helps you mimic the penultimate jump. For me, as a two foot jumper with a right left technique, a lot of the force comes from my right foot and then there's a short, quick reactive force on my left foot. I also do the left right plant for this and do three sets of three for both plants. Last but not least, for my last workout, I practice my approach jumps. I focus more on the approach rather than trying to achieve the maximum height. As you can see, there's room for improvement. Um, a lot of my arm is not being utilized. Um, also, my penultimate step is not as long as it should be. But the main point of this is to improve on technique and get that mind to muscle connection. Alright guys, that was the workout I did today, focusing on the plyometrics. If you guys liked the video and enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. I'll be making more videos for next week, so uh, stay tuned. Thanks, peace.